Um, Correct. So yeah, that part I I I agree wholeheartedly yeah. with you. Now I will say this. I, I will interject and say this. Companies now versus companies of back in the day. Some the companies now don't want you to work on their trucks. Now, if it's your own truck, then yes, most definitely learn learn the ways of your truck. I mean, if you're going to spend that kind of money uh, and buying the truck and not learn it, then you already messing up. You you already failing if if you're doing it that way. But if you're a company driver, it's just unfortunate that. You know, if it's something breaks or 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 something like that, yeah, they they want you to, yeah, just pull over, call for a breakdown, and we'll have them to come and fix the truck. But yeah, it's something I can call. No, 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 we'll 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 take care of it. Don't worry about it. Keep on moving. <laughs> so. Right, exactly, and that's how I rolled. You know, if it's something simple enough where I can fix it, so you know, if you have to. <laughs> You know, you got one light out and you got to run a jump from one end to the other to, to get you safely somewhere without DOT pulling you over, then that's what you're going to do. You know, it's not like I'm going to work on the engine or transmission out there because no, that's not my job. Um, but, you know, if, if it's something simple enough, easy enough, then you do it and you go on down the road until you can get to a truck stop, a love, a TA, a pilot, wherever you need to go, or to a shop that they tell you to go to. But, you know, lights go out all the time. That's, that's something you kind of got to figure out how to, you know, make work going down the road. That's, or that's, change your headlight. That's what's up. And that's something that a lot of, a lot of new drivers, a lot of new jacks don't, don't seem to grasp either. You know what I'm saying? They they don't know what to, you know, they 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 get influenced, they get in here, oh, trucking is easy, trucking is this, I'm trucking is, I'm making my money and all like that. But you get in a situation like uh like like my man Bobby, you know, I, I hate to use him as an uh as an example, but he did a he he did a video on a, a boulder, a rock, uh being stuck in his tandems. And unfortunately being that he's a new guy he wasn't sure what to do he called up his fleet manager that i'm i'm sure that the fleet manager you know probably might have been a probably might have been a uh what do you call it uh uh person out of out of college or whatever that don't know that right. don't know the ways of the truck either told him to but that's half the problem Right. Told, you know, told him to, yeah, you know, you only, you're not that far away or whatever, whatever, go in and drive on your, you know, go in and drive and, and, and just make sure you get there safe. But here's, yeah, no, you have, that's where you have to make your judgment calls and say, absolutely not. I'm not mm. driving in that fog, that ice. I mm. will not lose this rig if it's ice. Mm. You don't drive in the ice. You park that thing. Mm -hmm. You have to make that call. What are they going to do? Fire you because uh, it's a safety issue. You go ahead. You go ahead and tell me that I am mandated to drive this truck over ice. Let's see where that gets you. You right. have to be knowledgeable and know your rights and know what you can and cannot do. Because these people that are telling you, oh, it's fine to go ahead and drive, they're sitting in a desk in an office somewhere, nowhere near you, looking at beautiful skies and saying, I, I need that money. I need that paycheck. I need you to get it there so I get that bonus. Um, no, I need to live, and so does everybody else out on the road. So I'm parking it. That that's a that's 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 a good that's that's some good advice and that's a good example. And what it is is that you're being that you're you're driving the truck. The truck is your responsibility, and your fleet manager could yep. tell you to do whatever, whatever. But when something happens, you know, when something happens, and God, and God forbid that it didn't happen to this young man, that any that rock could have flamed out. It could have could have you know crashed into somebody's windshield. Uh, he could have got pulled over by DOT. 
coulda, woulda, shoulda, even though nothing actually happened to him. I'm sure they probably come back in my comment section and say, well, nothing happened to him. So what are you talking about? But something could have. You got to you gotta think two yep. steps ahead instead of two steps back. You got you 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 got that in your tandems. Two steps ahead would be like, okay, I could get pulled over by DOT and get a ticket, which will be on me. Or that rock could have flamed out, hit another truck driver, hit another car. You gotta you you gotta look at things in perspective. Now, if you're again, like I said, you know, when a fleet manager tell you, oh, it's okay and all like that. No, no, no. Because if you get you're responsible, if you get pulled over, and and they and and the DOT say, did you know you had a rock in your tandems? And you tell them yeah, and you'd be like, oh well, you know, I told my you know I told my fleet manager, but my fleet manager said it was okay to drive. You want to know what your fleet manager going to say? Your fleet manager is going to come back and say, uh. Well, we just suggested. We didn't tell him to drive like that, sir. We we just we just made a suggestion. So yep, they will put it all right back on you. So that's mm -hmm. where judgment call the call comes in. You don't, you know. And the other thing that's irritating out here is pre trips and post trips. People think they're a joke. Okay, I'll let the clock run down. Pretend like I did it. You know, I've seen so many times, nobody gets out of their truck. I go, when you're working for a big mega carrier, you don't always haul that same thing on trailer, mm -hmm. you know, and they tell you, go pick up this number or that number. You're like, oh my God, this like, this is dangerous. How did they even get this here? And I'm taking, no, I'm not taking this anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody is out there physically doing pre and post trips anymore. There's very seldom random people who are physically doing that on a daily, you know, you see all these people with their taillights out, you know, their headlights out. Did you not know that? Did you not see that? No, you didn't because you didn't get your butt out of that truck and actually do a pre trip or a post trip. That is aggravating, aggravating. To death, you could kill somebody or yourself going down that road. People laugh, oh, it'll be fine. Okay, well, what happens if a truck driver was going down the road and, you know, they didn't do their stuff properly and something happened or that rock flung out and killed one of your family members? Feeling. Now how are you feel? Mm. All right. You know, it's, it's oh, crazy. Good. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, so Heather, you 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 have strong uh you have strong opinions about the about the cell phone. Uh, you you did mention uh on the post that you know a lot of these new drivers really need to put the cell phones down and concentrate on on driving. What what do you what do you what do you what do you say about that when you when you you know you drive and you see new jacks that's supposed to be training but they you know doing live feeds and they're and they're, they're doing on their live phones feeds. and all like that those phones are in their hands in their hands where they should not be because when you're driving you're supposed to be focusing on everything around you you should be looking at those mirrors all the time that's where your eyes hit is those mirrors you know who's coming up beside you you're looking way ahead you know what's coming up before it's coming up. You know, there is, you know, ugh, God, so many times I've almost been killed, you know, because some joker has his cell phone right in front of their face with their foot up on the dashboard, driving down the road, looking at the phone, instead of watching where in the heck your trailer is at. You may pass me with that cab, but that trailer is still next to me. And now you're shoving me off the road? Like, mm, no, let's not. And then you, you come up over a hill and then everybody stops and you're still looking down at that phone. And then you cause another crash and you kill people. Man, oh, man, I tell you what. The cell phones in the hands got to go. They've got to go. 
Now, let me ask you this. Now, as far as, you know, let's let's go back on the uh, two young men that, that did get terminated because of, you know, device, electronic device policy. In their case, they didn't have the phone in their hands. Uh, well, with the case of Tiki, they, they didn't, he didn't right. have the phone in his hand. He had the phone attached to, you know, attached to a mount, which was on his body. In particular, it was on his forehead. And, you know, he was driving hands free and, um, and, you know, and just, you know, just conversating amongst himself. Like, like if he was on a, you know, on the Bluetooth headset phone call or whatever. Right. But Snyder kind of felt that that was distractive driving. Um, in the case of, in the case of, you know, Bobby, you know, he was doing the same thing, but unfortunately for him, he was showing a little bit more than what he was supposed to be showing. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> But but in cases but in cases like that, I mean, if the if the phone is not in your hand and let's say it's attached to your body or anything like that, why would that why would companies take issue with that now? Because most people, when they're doing that, like we back to that subject of social media, mm -hmm. they're trying to film. They're concentrating about their filming. It's always in your head because that's what you're doing. Mm. I have this on my head. I'm filming. I'm going to talk about it. Mm. You know, so they're focusing on that. Okay. They are not focusing. They're not focusing on driving. Now, you want to have cameras going on the side mounts of, you know, your mirrors and in front of you, you know, so if anything happens, you know, that's caught on camera. You want to go back and play something of that. That's one thing. But you are physically knowing that you have something mounted on you that you're trying to get footage of stuff so you mm. can comment on it mm. so you can post it okay. you are not concentrating on your driving i'm sorry i'm okay. sorry you too okay thank you that, now i haven't thought of it that now it's all um that's what we do over here at the lockout man podcast show the best conversations starts over here I, I'm, I'm. Thank you. I haven't. I actually haven't thought of it that way. I, I really didn't. I, you know, when, when, what happened to me, uh, when I got terminated was, of course, I was driving. You know, long story short, because I always, I always get long winded when I tell the story. But, <laughs> but long story short, my driver tech went out. Uh. I videoed, you know, I had my I had my uh camera on my on my arm uh or on my wrist attached to my wrist. I was pointing it at the at the driver tech, of course while I'm driving and talking at the same time. Um I got pulled into, you know, I got pulled into the DLT or to the way station or whatever it was when I was up in PA and um you know, I was telling the DLT officer that my driver Only one of the greatest that is a lawyer that is a promise Always wanted to be famous just being real yeah just being honest My haters won't always be nameless give them no cloud I give them no power Creators are different they hate you to them later or will be ours I keep an eye up for the numbers I stay in contact synchronization to infinity even be a lot of things I am above and there are a lot of things that are above me Do not come for the people I love cause then I get scary, then I get angry They don't bother when I'm the equation Present, loaded, observation I'm the new hit, remote 